Hey guys, if any of you follow me on Instagram, you know that my family has been sick for a little while now. So today we're going old school with a classic chicken noodle soup that's become a staple in our diet. I'm Meg and I'm passionate about finding ways to make life with kids easier in the kitchen. So here's what you'll need. Olive oil, chopped carrots and chopped onions, and then chicken broth, capellini or angel hair pasta, and roasted chicken. The nice thing about this recipe is it's made in one pot on the stove. So the first step is to turn the heat on under a heavy bottom pan. A lot of you guys have asked me what pan I'm using. This blue one is a Le Creuset Dutch oven. I talked about it in my Kitchen Essentials episode because it's a great investment. So my heat is going and the next thing I'm gonna do is add my olive oil. Once my olive oil is nice and hot, I'm gonna add some chopped onion right to the bottom of my pan. Love that sizzle. And then a little bit of chopped carrot. Next I'm gonna add some salt and pepper. Now you can also try adding celery if you want a little bit of green in there. If you wanna add other vegetables, like peas or anything like that, that should be done at the end, not when you're sauteing. I'm gonna cook my onions and carrots for about eight minutes until they're nice and soft. Next I'm gonna add my chicken broth and I'm using a really good quality broth here because there are very few ingredients in the soup. My vegetables are gonna simmer in my broth for about 10 minutes until they're very soft. I found that if my kids see any sign of a vegetable in this soup, they're much less likely to eat it. So today I'm gonna to puree using my immersion blender. You'll notice that pureeing the vegetables turn the broth to a beautiful golden orange that's so pretty. While I'm bringing my broth back to a simmer, I'm gonna prepare my pasta. Today I'm using a capellini noodle, which I broke it into really small pieces that are perfect for kids. You can use any shape pasta you like, but if you're using a pasta that has a longer cooking time, I recommend cooking it in a separate pot. This capellini cooks for about two minutes before adding my chicken. Today I'm using a rotisserie chicken that I've just taken the meat off of. If you have leftover grilled chicken, that's fine. Use whatever you have on hand. I'm gonna add it to my soup before turning the heat off. The chicken will warm up and the noodles will continue to cook in the residual heat. My soup is all cooked. I'm gonna ladle it into this bowl so you can see what a beautiful color it became. So hopefully next time I see you guys, my entire family will be healthy. But in the meantime, I am desperate. If you guys have any tips, any recommendations for keeping your family healthy, leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye guys. I love when I like the chicken a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Is it good, the soup? <laughs>